Hey guys! I know it's been a little while since we've done a new video, but new year, so let's get started off on the right foot. So earlier this week, I went to a comic book store. Um, it's about three and a half hours away from me. I visited one of my friends in London, Ontario, and went to Heroes, which is one of their local comic book stores. Um, I work at a comic book store myself, so I find when I go into other comic book stores, I really kind of look at things and I mean, I do kind of compare to what I'm used to at my store. And this store is actually super awesome. It's one of the first ones that I've absolutely loved. Um, I love the organization. I feel like they've got a lot to offer and I always find things that I'm looking for on my list. And we know I like some of that kind of weird stuff, maybe some stuff that's less popular. So it's really nice to be able to go into a store and find something that I really like. Now, what I have all ready to show you guys is everything that I bought while I was there. Um, it's a little range of things, but pretty much nails on the head, pretty much everything that I love. Um, so we'll just jump right into it. So I'll start off with my back issues first. Now, um, one thing that I am looking to collect in the new year is some Madman comics. I would love to get like full runs. Um, I need to actually figure out exactly what all the runs would be because um, it looks like they're going between different publishers, like uh, between Image and Dark Horse. So I kind of want to look into that to see where I'm at. Um, but I found this really cool one here. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it's shiny and it's Madman, so it feels like the right thing. Uh, now from, there's an image giant size one there. Um, also there, I think there's two, yeah, two copies um, with Dark Horse. And then I have a pretty decent chunk here of image. Now it's not a full run and it's not gonna be in order, so I won't be able to read them yet. Um, but I do love knowing that now I know what to look for and I'm going to put that list together so I can figure out what I need to find for this year. So I'm super excited that I found those. Um, I do love Mad Men. I think the art is just really super cool. Like I just love looking at it and everything just seems really strange and a little off the normal path and that's really what I love to, um, what I love to read and the kind of art style that I look for. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, sorry. I just have to get a little organized here. Um, this one here, so this is just a group back issue. Um, I actually collect all these for my daughter. She's eight. Uh, so anytime I'm bin diving, anything like that, I do always look for comics uh, with Groot. And it's actually really sweet because anytime she's ever gone bin diving for me, she always pick it, picks out Rocket um, comics. So I always make sure I look and I found that one for her. It's not in her collection yet. Superboy. Now I don't collect Superboy in any kind of way, like I'm not working on a run or anything like that. Um, I really like this version of Superboy here with the leather jacket and the glasses and everything. Um, so I do always look when I'm there to see if there's any covers, uh, but I don't do too crazy on, um, I'm not looking for any like full runs or anything like that, just what catches my eye. Same thing with Green Lantern. I love Kyle Rayner. Um, so I always look for cool Kyle Rayner covers, anything like that, but I don't really collect Green Lantern. This, I really don't know what this is. Um, if any of you guys do, feel free to let me know. Um, otherwise, Magic Pickle, not really sure what it is, but it seemed like something I might be interested in. I'm just going to have to read it and check it out. Now I have some Justice Leaks here. Um, I try my best to collect a lot of... Um, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle. Um, now this one here I bought, I love the cover. I actually bought this one for $8 a little while ago. Um, this one here I found for 30 cents, so can't really go wrong with that. So I had to snatch it up. Now I have two copies. Um, I mean, there are some things that I don't mind hoarding, so if it has to be Blue Beetle or Booster Gold, I'm totally okay with that. Um, these ones here, just for Booster and Blue Beetle, um, we've got little versions of them there. They're also in um, a lot of these stories as well. This one, good Blue Beetle cover. Um, I, I don't know if I've mentioned on here or not, but I am working on collecting um, every single cover that Booster Gold is on. Um, the number as of a couple months ago was 308. 
Uh, that number probably has changed since then because there's been a couple things here and there that has come out with him uh, in it that he is on the cover of. Um, so that number probably will change. Um, but there, we've got some Booster and Blue Beetle. Again, Booster story. Um, now one thing, so if any of you guys have seen, which I'm sure some of you probably already have, um, but for March 2020, DC will be doing uh, a Strange Adventures series uh, with Adam Strange, with Tom King as the writer, and Mitch Drads as the artist, just like Mr. Miracle, um, which is a series that I absolutely loved, um, primarily because I loved the story and also loved the artist, but it wasn't necessarily a character I knew a lot about. Um, so for the new one, I do really want to get to know the character first, so that way when I read the series, I can enjoy it even more and just kind of have that extra layer um, of understanding the character. Um, I think it's important. Like, it's it's nice to be a little bit more excited about a series if you understand the character. Like, I know, like, if they put out a Booster Gold series, obviously I would die for more than one reason. Um, but I already know a lot about his history, so I would understand a lot of what I'm reading. So I kind of want to be a little more prepared going into this series. Um, this is the first book I was able to find. It's just a Brave and the Bold with Batman and Adam Strange. Um, I've done some research. I'm going to try to collect some more. I did get his two other Brave and the Bold issues. Um, he's in a lot of like mystery in space. His first appearance is in a showcase book, which is from back in the 50s. So some of his earlier appearances are pricier books. Um, also things that are sometimes a little bit scarier to read because they're so expensive. Uh, but I am going to work through and try to find what I can so I can read what I can before I get to enjoy the series in a couple months from now. All right, so moving on, I did buy some sets. Now this store, the last time I was there, I m spent most of my time on the upper level. Um, that's where they keep a lot of the back issues. There are some sets and graphic novels and stuff like that. Um, I didn't know though on the lower level they have even more sets. Um, the ones upstairs are all priced at two bucks. These ones were priced um, more based on like what they're worth and what the value is. So I found some goodies that were on my list. Now, for one that wasn't on my list, there's this Doll Man series. Now, I literally have no clue what this is. So if any of you guys do, this is going to be one of those that if you can let me know um, if you like it or not, if you've read it, if you enjoy it. Um, later that day, we actually saw somebody post one of these issues on their page. Um, so it's out there. Like People have bought it before, so I'm curious to know what it's all about, if I'm being honest. It was this cover that kind of sold me. Just like kind of thinking about this like tiny doll man that's just kind of a badass and clearly he's getting some chicks. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what he's all about. Like I said, if you guys know, let me know. If not, I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna let you know. So stay tuned on that. Um, so that was one of the sets that I got. This was another one. So this is the Quiver storyline, the one written by Kevin Smith. Um, the artist for this one is Phil Hester, who I have really grown to love uh, reading through these Green Arrows. Um, I actually just finished reading this entire run of Green Arrow. Um, it's not something that I don't think I want to collect all the individual issues of. I did read it in trade, uh, but these ones I did really want in individual issues. I do love Kevin Smith. I'm a big Kevin Smith fan. Um, so this was a really awesome find, and this is a story that I would definitely reread and a story that I would recommend to people. Um, when Green Arrow was first, uh, I had a friend actually lend me a couple of these volumes and I'm not really like, Green Arrow was never really on my radar before. So when he had given me these, I was like, meh, I don't know if I really wanna, like if I'm really into Green Lantern, or Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Um, but I figured I'd give it a try and I actually fell in love. I've read 11 trades now over the last couple of months. I just decided to totally throw myself into Green Arrow as a character so I could really get to know him um, and really understand some of his story. Uh, so this was kind of the beginning of it for me. So it was a really cool set for me to find. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, now another one, so this is another cool one. So this is uh, the Human Torch series. It was 12 issues all together done by Scotty Young. Um, now, I recently have been 
kind of looking into Scotty Young and taking a look at some of the things that he's done. Um, I love like all his cutesy like baby covers and I do like his art. Um, so this one here, this is actually one of his earlier stories, like one of the first couple of things that he actually did as an artist. And I saw a couple of these covers in her back issues at my store actually. Uh, we didn't have the full set though, so I just said, you know, I'll put it on my list and see if I can find it one day because I'd love to read it. Um, but as soon as I saw the cover, I remember looking at it, recognizing that it was Scotty Young's art right away, um, and figured like Human Torch again is not really a character that I think that I would ever be drawn to immediately. Um, but I would like to check out kind of Scotty Young's earlier work, see how the story is. Um, but yeah, I was really excited to find this set because um, sometimes I put things on my list and then I never see them again or, or like it just it's hard like you don't always find these things um, and I'm not a big fan of just ordering things on eBay because um, I do like the dig and I like the hunt and everything like that. So this I was like really excited to find and I got a really good deal on it so I'm super pumped about that. And then the last set, so this one I'm actually even more excited about. Um, so I actually had a customer recommend this Armageddon 2001. Um, now, me and this customer, we have kind of realized that we have a lot of the same style. Uh, he tells me about cool issues that he read as a kid that he really liked, or series that he thinks I would like. Um, we originally bonded over Kyle Rayner, so we both know we've got really good Green Lantern taste, and that's really important. You gotta check your Green Lanterns, because finding out who somebody's favorite Green Lantern is can tell a lot about a person. Anyway, so this Armageddon 2001, um, I haven't read any of the issues yet because I did want to collect them all before I did. Um, I have begun to collect them, and I do have the first, like the Alpha and the Omega issues for this event, um, but I still haven't read them. Now I have the whole set and I have a couple doubles, so if anybody wants to read them, hit me up. I've got some extras. Uh, but regardless, I was really excited to read this story. Um, basically how he described it to me um, was that for this year here, they did do um, all of the annuals for the different issues in here were kind of done like what if issues, sort of. Um, so this Wave Rider character is introduced and this book is actually his first appearance. Um, and he's a time traveler and he kind of goes through all of the annuals go through like a like a what if scenario for the character somebody dies or someone's a murderer like one of the heroes is a murderer of some sort or something um and he goes through trying to figure out who the murderer could be um or what would happen if somebody died sort of thing and then the last so the omega version of this story this number two here uh this one actually tells you who it is um, so I'm excited to figure out that mystery. So now I have everything in between so I can read the story and figure out what that mystery is. But I'm really excited to read this. Now, those are all the comics that I bought. I did buy some graphic novels as well. Uh, so as mentioned earlier, I'm looking to catch up on some Adam Strange. Uh, so this is just a graphic novel that he was in. It's called Planet Heist. Um, so this would be like... If I don't find anything else, at least this will kind of give me some idea about his character. Um, I haven't really read what it's about or anything, but I'm going to read it regardless. Uh, it does look pretty, pretty interesting. I'm going to read that. And I also got this Guardians of the Galaxy book. I thought this would look really nice on my shelf because I love the side writing there. Um, I'm also really excited to read this book. Uh, this collects, I believe it's the first six issues yeah the first six issues of this guardians of the galaxy run uh taser face's first appearance is in this run um he was really funny in the book he's a, er, in the book in the movie uh, he's a little bit different in the comics so i thought it'd be interesting to kind of see him and yondu in the way that they were in comics um versus like how they were in the movies because i know they are pretty different um, but it looks like a pretty cool story. I did start reading this one. I do like it so far. I've got through the first two issues. Uh, three issues, actually. It's pretty good so far. I like it. I also found this Madman trade. Um, now, I do have this habit. I do love collecting trades and single issues if I like something. Um, so this one here for Madman, there are a lot of printings and collections and everything like that. I would love to work on, like, first printing. So this one here is from 1995. Uh, this is a first printing of this book. 
Um, so I do like that sort of thing. I know they've been recollected a lot of times, but I would prefer, like the collector in me kind of does prefer first printings of these types of things when I'm collecting based on characters. Um, I like the wear and tear. I like knowing uh, that they're older and they've kind of been through some stuff. Um, they've moved from house to house, been from person to person. I really like like the story that a book can hold like that. Um, that's part of the reason why I like the first printings, but also like it's first printings. Those are also always nicer to have. This one here. So this is a Time Masters book. Uh, this isn't the first Time Masters book, but, or sorry, this is not the only Time Masters book, but Time Masters stars uh, Rip Hunter and Rip Hunter is actually Booster Gold's son. Um, so there's some weird time travel stuff and what have you. And Booster does have a kid and his kid is Rip Hunter. And Rip Hunter is a time traveler as well. Um, so because I collect everything related to Booster Gold, this one has to be in the list. This one here I have had my eyes on before. This is a much newer book. Um, this one there, it's about this, well, it's called Terrible Lizard, as I'm sure you can see. Um, so it looks like there's some sort of portal or something that's open up and this uh, dinosaur comes through and it's a really bad dinosaur, like it says mischievous. Um, and it ends up imprinting on this girl here. Um, so it's kind of about their relationship and what kind of trouble is coming from this dinosaur being brought in and maybe other creatures get brought in too. Um, I've never read it before, but the store had a really awesome sale where it was buy two, uh, get one graphic novel for free. So I was able to squeeze this one in amongst the ones that I had already bought. So I'm really excited to give that one a read because I've had my eyes on it for a bit. Um, as I mentioned earlier, again, I collect Groot and Rocket for me and my daughter, um, which you guys have met before I realized. That's my sweet baby beetle. She's the Groot collector. Um, but this one, Scotty Young, Groot, Rocket, it kind of checks off a couple boxes for us here. Um, so I'm excited to read this one. Now, one thing I want to show you guys. So what I love, love, love to do is find weird characters and collect their, like all of their appearances. Now, one character, so I was reading um, a Marvel superhero adventures book. So those are the uh, kids ones. Um, which are pretty funny like if you have kids they're fun to read with them if not they're kind of fun to read on your own as well um, but I was reading one and there was this character and his name was the clam and so then I did some research and he's not really in anything unfortunately except for that issue um, but his first appearance was in group number six there he is he has to be one of the coolest villains I've ever seen um, I can't imagine that he'll be somebody we'll see in the MCU, which is really sad, but I will take this first appearance. He's only on this page here, which is a bummer. He gets a lot more panel time in the Marvel Superhero Adventures. I have that issue too, because he's adorable. But listen to what he says. He says, soon I shall bathe in the chowder of your blood. Arr. I just kind of love that, because he uses clam jokes. He does the same thing in the other one too. It's just pretty much what I love. This is what I need in my life. If you guys know any other super weird characters like that guy, um, let me know, because these are the characters I live for. Another weird character that I like to collect, I saw him first in a, the most, well, not the most recent um, Green, like the Green Lantern season one of the current stuff that's going on, not Black Stars, but the 12 issue run before that. Um, there's this character, Volk, who's been around for a while. And he's a Green Lantern who has an erupting volcano for a head. Um, so his head is constantly erupting. Um, it's just this like kind of little volcano and it's just constantly going. And I just thought he was really cool. So I started collecting a lot of his appearances too. I have about half of them now. Um, so those are the kind of things that I think are cool. But if you guys can think of any suggestions of something like that that you think I might like, um, chances are you're right. And I'd love to take a look to see what other options there are for weird characters. Um, now last couple of things here. I can't remember if I talked about this on another video. I, part of me feels like I did, but if not, this is one of my favorite books ever. It's so weird. Um, it's one of the earlier comic books using digital art. Like it was all made on the computer. It was a much earlier technology, um, for its time. 
Um, the first one that was done uh, was this comic book called Shatter. Um, it wasn't a superhero one or anything like that. Um, there's also one called Iron Man Crash, so that would be the first superhero one. This one here is the first to DC. Um, this one I think came out in 1990 if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay, it doesn't say here easily, so we'll just assume it's 1990. If not, it's the very early 90s. Yeah, 1990s, sorry. I was second guessing myself there for a sec. Um, I originally found this book because I saw the spine of it on the shelf and I, can you see it all? And I, it just attracted my eye. Um, this book here is like really weird. The art style is crazy. The Joker, um, because it's all, it's kind of all focused on like that idea of being inside a computer. It's all kind of computer involved. So in this one, the Joker is actually a virus. Um, here, this is actually pretty funny. That's Catwoman there. And let me see if I can find, there's Batman on his big computer. You can see it's all kind of computer based there and everything. Um, but I absolutely love this book. This is a book that every single time I see it, I will buy it. This is my third copy so far. Um, I have one copy that I have lent out currently because everybody should read this book, but I will buy every copy that I see and either gift it, lend it out, whatever I need to do, people need this in their hands. Um, I have been called crazy because apparently other people don't like it. I don't really know why. I think it's really cool. But that's kind of what I'm here for and people sell things like this to people like me. Um, but if you have it or if you've never read it before, read it, get your hands on it, get this in your life because this is just my favorite weird thing. Now, these books here, if you guys have seen these before, they're so big, I feel like I'm hiding behind them. I've created this wall of giant sized books. Um, so just to give you a comparison here, let me find something. So this is like a normal size graphic novel. So these are like treasury size. Um, this is from Alex Ross. Alex Ross has made these. Uh, you can get this in a collected edition that is kind of more of a normal size. It's a little bigger than a traditional graphic novel, um, but it does still sit really nice on the shelf. Um, I bought this, uh, I found the Shazam one. We could actually order this one through Diamond about a year ago. And I ordered it and was kind of shocked at the size because I'd never seen these before. And then I did buy the collected version and then I always wanted to collect the rest of the individual ones. Um, but they are quite expensive. So it's something that I was hoping one day I was gonna find. So like I said, this is the kind of thing I'd rather find organically, not order on eBay. And I ended up getting a really awesome deal. And they were like more than half of the price of um, what I've seen online. So I got this Superman. There's JLA Secret Origins. This one's really cool. This one kind of goes through a bunch of origins of different characters. So I'm gonna back up and show you guys. So that's an example. So each page goes through different characters, um, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Martian Manhunter, things like that. So that book's actually really cool also. And then the one I really, really wanted, Batman War. So at this, oh sorry, War on Crime. So this one here is um, my, well, I only need one more after this. Uh, just the Wonder Woman one. So I think I made a pretty good dent. So worst comes to worst, if I don't find that Wonder Woman one organically, I would be comfortable probably ordering that one on eBay. Um, Cause I've literally never seen these anywhere else before. All right guys, that was my comic haul from London, Ontario. I'm really excited about all my new things. Thank you so much for watching. And um, as I mentioned a couple times in the video, if you see anything there, um, where you have any suggestions for me, any questions about anything, anything you wanna chat about, um, please let me know, you can do it in the comments. I'm also on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Booster Goldie. Uh, it's Goldie with an IE, just like my name here on YouTube. And yeah, you can give me a follow or just ask me questions, check out other things on my Instagram, whatever you want. Um, I really like connecting with you guys and I get a lot of my best suggestions and new things that I find from people that I talk to. So that's one of my favorite parts about connecting with people. Um, so yeah, anytime, any suggestions, weird characters, those are the things I'm kind of always after. Um, yeah, so let me know.
Awesome. Well, thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye.